Hey, 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 hey. What's going on, YouTube? It's Rod on the road, signing on. Uh, it's raining where I'm at today. Um, first of all, I want to hope I hope everybody's doing well out there. Hope everybody's doing good and prospering wherever you at and uh, overcoming adversity. And I don't want to get this camera wet, but it's slight drizzle. Uh, a lot of rain out west. This is west. Uh, I'm at a park uh, along the highway, major interstate right here. It's a pretty nice park, as you can see. We got we got ducks limping about and chasing one another and being rambunctious. Oh man, I want this mic to get wet. But like I said, uh, I want to do a video today. During the uh, the uh, past week, I had a lot of things going. I really didn't get the opportunity to get a video up, and I uh, wasn't around an area where I could even really do anything. I actually could have did a video, but I had some memory card issues, and she's getting tied up in the uh, that whole time of the year. But now uh, I got the video going, and I want to talk about some things. Um, I want to talk about some things that's been going on with the truck. This morning I had a breakdown. Now that breakdown was the same thing that happened before. For some reason my rotor button keeps, I guess, filing out for lack of better words. Um, I went to crank it up. This gentleman was next to me in a Ford van. He was really loud and I tried to move away from him. When I first came in, he wasn't next to me, but he moved close to me and I guess he you know, saw another van and he felt a little more secure. And he moved close to me and um, he was arguing with someone on the phone and I was trying to get some rest and I tried to move, van wouldn't crank. So it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty late. I guess it was around 1 a.m. and I tried cranking it two or three times and it wouldn't crank so I just said I better quit cranking it you know rule of thumb don't overexert the cranking uh, when your vehicle won't start because you'll just have another problem you'll just run your battery down if it's turning over chances are that if you keep doing that the results will, will be the same you know fix you know try to try to diagnose the problem and not cause another problem by running your battery down. So anyway, I crank it two or three times. I tried to crank it, it turned over fine and strong, so I'm realizing that wasn't the problem. And of course, my mind went straight back to the, the initial thing that happened before, that rotor button. So I took it off, I tried to scrape it down, and um, I, had, I just had, I had another one. I tried to keep a spare. Uh, I got a lifetime warranty on it, but you know, that's not the problem. It's another issue going on that I'm gonna have to figure out um, what's going on so until then like I said I put the new one in it crunk right up it, it made a pop sound this time which I thought was unusual so probably what I'm end up doing is just replacing uh, all those wires and not it's, 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 I guess it's time to do that again to replace all those wires and replace that distributor cap and the whole electrical deal under that um, dog house and hopefully uh, I might even put a new fuel pump in it. I'm not sure. If, I mean, it can't hurt anything. I'm just, I guess I'm being paranoid, you know. But anybody got any ideas of what all that, what that could be, you know, feel free to let me know. Because I'm really interested in, but like, check out my new hat. I like this hat. I want, this hat was uh, just a few bucks. The price on it was, was up there and. And the young lady uh, at the register was so gracious that she basically gave it to me for free. Uh, that also reminds me, I'm going to tell you some few things that happened to me. I was at Starbucks. I went to Starbucks and I was in there and this bearded gentleman was in there. And I said, give me a grande or I think I said a venti. I don't know. I wanted a big iced coffee. And he gave it to me and I tried to, tried to give the man monetary uh <laughs> what was monetarily due toward him 
And he said, man, spirit chart. So no, every now and then you meet some great people at Starbucks that do that. I'm really used to McDonald's on Monday, always doing it. But, you know, that was a treat. I think that was like the second time Starbucks uh, gave me something like that. Maybe the third, actually. Um, so that's pretty cool. Shouts out to, to Starbucks. And uh, the bike mount and the hitch deal is, is going great. Uh, I had an opportunity to ride it this morning. That was wonderful. Um, so, and I don't know if you can see this, but I put a ratchet strap right there. And what that does is, you know, a little old Home Depot El Cheapo ratchet strap, which they are, those things are stout and strong. Just keeps it from wobbling so much, you know. It wobbles quite a bit, you know, going in turns and stuff like that, and going in drives and things like that. It wobbles, and that that really helped it out. Maybe maybe eliminated 50% of the wobble. I know it's designed to wobble, but, you know, it still wobbles. But it's just a little, I feel a little bit better about it now. And the wax is holding up good. I'm going to put some turtle wax on it over this uh, floor wax. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to just polish those bottoms up real good. And I'm going to clean it up real good. You know, I like, I try to keep it clean. I focus on keeping, keeping it clean. And, and it's been working uh, so far so good. But right now, I'm basically just hanging out here. I've been here pretty much ever since the breakdown. <clears throat> Once I got up back on the road, I've been here. And, you know, people come out here, man, and they fish, and uh, they just hang out at this pond. And I, <clears throat> this pond has trout in it. So I'm figuring it's rather deep. Trout have to be at a certain cool temperature, I'm imagining. I never fish for trout, uh, but it's something I'm interested in. Because uh, this is actually Arkansas. Uh, the state I'm in, but that's uh, that's pretty much all I've been doing today. Um, I want to thank some guys. I'm gonna watch some videos. I want to thank, uh, you know, well, yeah. I, I Caleb S mentioned. Uh, I watched one of his videos, and I want to thank him for the shout out. Uh, he's got a van. Like I hadn't been, I hadn't been able to keep up with him as, as much as I would like to. Um, he's got a white van like this now. Uh, I think he calls it the ghost or the beast or something like that. You know, I really enjoy his video. Shouts out to Caleb. What's up, Caleb? Uh, but yeah, I think it's a GMC. I think it's a Chevrolet. But it's almost identical. I think it's a twin uh, to this one. I got to get back on the video tip and make some more time to catch up on my favorite YouTube. Uh, and, and Will is out there on the road somewhere. Last I heard, he was in Texas. Uh, and I wanted to catch up with Will, but man, my schedule's just been crazy. And if, you know, if he'll, if I'm, a, I'm gonna try to message him. I hadn't been able to. My, my, my laptop is uh, garbage. It's so old, and I really got to get another one some kind of way. Um, you know, we, we'll figure that out. Maybe a tablet. I don't know. I never had a tablet, so we'll, we'll see. But Will, shouts out to Will, and, and anybody else that that I didn't mention. I, I just those two guys just popped up on my mind just now. Um, so that's uh, that. That's that on that, I guess. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do a little cooking, and I hope this camera adjusts properly. I'm gonna do a little cooking. Some meat and potatoes. These things, you know, I guess they're genetically modified to hold up so they don't bruise at all. Anyway, but. I'm going to do this potatoes and meat. I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to take my time and I'm going to relax. And I'm going to turn on some AM, FM radio. Some AM radio. And I'm going to catch up on the talk scene because politically I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, I do it last I heard. Uh, 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 Mr. Trump was the front runner in the Republican uh, ticket. And of course I th I'm thinking Hillary and um, uh, Mr. Sanders um, are neck and neck. Or I, I don't really don't know what's going on in that arena. Uh, so I'm going to catch up with that, you know, talk radio uh, uh, charge me up on it, you know, pretty good. So I'm going to catch up on what's going on on the political scene. And we got showers. The the atmosphere is extremely unstable. Showers popping on and off. I'm right here by Porter John, so that's no problem. I got a picnic area over there if I wanted to go grill something, which I'm not going to grill. I'm just going to use the butane today. And I believe I'll get on the bike and I'll surf. You know what? You know what? I'm not going to get on the bike. I'm going to get on the board. I'm going to get on the board, and I'm going to circle this here park. It looks pretty smooth. 
and uh you know i watch another youtuber he's always on a uh his name's casey he's a big timer he's always on these boosted boys i guess boosted gives it to him man those things are expensive but check this out they make very uh they make other versions it's not a boosted but they're very similar you can get them for not even the same ballpark of price. I mean, we're talking like 80 bucks, 99 bucks, depending on if you use in-store rebates and you, you know, you do your discounts and you network a little bit, you can get those things. And they're basically a skateboard with a, RC, with a motor on it, with a battery. Basically, that's all a boosted is, I mean. And I'm it's sure, I don't know how fast a boosted goes. This thing only goes 10 miles an hour. I'm surprised to see one. Even the cheap ones are normally a few hundred bucks. Uh, so, those things are awesome, you know. I have never ridden one, but I can only imagine, you know, for people who like to skate and are, you know, you know, I, 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 you know, I like to skate. And you know what? I'm, I've am i never been one like that hard skater be like, oh, man, those things are for kids. You know, they like the traditional boards that you, you know, the, the, the manual deal. But, you know, I'm never one to fear the future or try to, like, hold on to the pants. If I see something coming in and it's new uh, via music or technology and stuff like that, I'm open to it. So absolutely I'd ride an electric one. I mean, I see, I understand the old school, and it's great, and I love it. But at the same time, I just hit a button and it goes. Of course I see the magic in that, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not making no one lazy or nothing like that, but it's just fun. I mean, you could flat, flat land, you could get a lot more, you can cover a lot more terrain, and it's just some fun. You get a lot of practice in it. Of course you'll never get up on, give up on your manual, but just something to add to the arsenal of fun. Why not? I'm with that 100%. But I'm going to get started on uh, cooking here. Uh, this place is closed. This place closes at dark. Um, so I got to be out of here by probably 6. And we'll move on down the highway. Uh, I like to be fed and, and eaten. I'm going to lay off the Mickey D's. Thanks to Mickey D's. Shout out to Mickey D's. They've been taking care of business. Taking care of me very well. Uh, but until next time. This is Rod on the Road, and I'm signing off. Y'all stay safe, and I'm a, I'm back on the ball. I'm back on the block, and y'all take care. She's running good. We're improving. We're doing well. Um, y'all stay safe. God bless America. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you something. Check out my cooler. This is why I keep cold water in. To keep from opening my ice chest, I'm saving ice twice, uh, a, a whole lot more now because I'm not having to access that for water. Even though I wasn't doing it much anyway, but when it got so hot, I wanted some cold water, and, and it helped out quite a bit. Uh, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, I suggest getting an external way to get water, not keeping it in the cooler. I know we're supposed to drink at room temperature, but I know we don't. It's the way it is, uh, and that's, that's that on that. And I got the little fan. You know, I've been had that fan. It's all good. Keep your fire extinguisher visible and ready to go. Um, smoke detectors. Keep fresh batteries in them. And stay neat. Stay clean. Uh, keep the cleanliness up. Try to stay neat. Focus on it. Focus on it. I know it's a daily struggle or a battle, but, you know, you, you, your quality of life improves when this thing is not cluttered and you can move around and you can, you know, you can look in it and, and be happy and not ashamed of your environment. So that's what you want to focus on doing. All right. Those were the final words. This is Rod on the Road. Signing off. God bless America. Y'all take care. We will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.